Wahoote! Finally caught up to me, I see. Well, well, if it isn't our young outlaw. You've taken up stealing, I'm told. I can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint, but you're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today.
Hey! That's my jewelry! And my bag! So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This barrel was at Shisenuetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Tuliola. The Landsguard would have presumed it part of the regular Ceruleum shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its content sold for coin. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? As fortune would have it, I spied the leader of this operation being handed one of the stolen items. A bracelet, which Vau Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. It, it, it was from the Vow of Resolve? Oh, you've seen it then? No, n no, never. And if I knew who had it, I, I would have arrested the scoundrel. What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? It's a setup, sir. I, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me so they could get me out of the picture. If you feel your honor's at stake, there's always the old fashioned way. The law which folks have used to settle their differences for generations. You don't mean... Wahute, I challenge you to a duel. The winner is right, the loser is wrong. Doesn't get simpler than that. Yeah, have at it! Let your pistols do the talking! Please, do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? You refuse then? <laughs> A baby alpaca's got more fight than you. All right, boy. But remember, you asked for this. Come on, Sakawa! Give him what for! Shouldn't we stop him, Chief? Even if it's just rubber bullets, we're in the middle of town. Be quiet. Just watch. Looks like you've gotten slow in your old age, Vulture. You and I are going to have a long talk.
I apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. But we Hutei drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self-defense. You're free to go. As are your friends. Ha! Ah, you're not such a bad guy after all! Just a man of the wilds, like you. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers, it pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you gonna do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. But those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. What about you, Zakua? What do you intend to do now? Why, what I've always done! Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old-fashioned way. Here. This was Vauk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? Yes. A person very dear to her. I suppose this is where we go our separate ways. My thanks again for your help apprehending the Vulture.
I'm so sorry, but we're not sure when the train will be running again. Uh, you've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way. Please don't tell me you've come to complain, too. <clears throat> we heard that the earthquake had caused disruptions, and wanted to ask when operations would resume. Uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. I'm afraid so. Too few hands for too much work. It's time-consuming enough to inspect the tracks after every quake, but this last one we got after the succession ceremony was massive. Made a mess of a whole bunch of railroad ties. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliola at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. I have to admit, it was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? What about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. Though, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, we'd be truly tremendously grateful. Thank you! Thank you so much! I'm Shenza, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you would please step inside, I can introduce you to everyone. Sorry for dragging you into this. There they are! That's them! The two volunteers! Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Nitoikwe. And this grizzled mug is Zapia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Much obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. Something the matter? Trolleys? They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean powered engine. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. Right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties, so it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. In these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. Come on, no time to waste.
glorious grand machine indeed. I hope Namika was able to secure a seat. Here she comes! to you, we managed to resume service much faster than anticipated. You have our gratitude. <sighs> There's nothing so enchanting as a cerulean-powered engine in motion! <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Don't think I'll ever tire of watching them chugging along. Oh, they make wagons look like toys. And so long as we can lay the tracks, she can go on and on and on. Before you know it, she'll be crossing the entire continent. Railroads are a somewhat recent addition to Tral. As it stands, we can only ferry folks as far as Yasolani. And from an operational standpoint, we still have much to learn. There's always some problem or another to deal with. But we'll keep working at it. We'll hone our craft and continue expanding till one day our trains are running coast to coast. That's the ultimate dream. Goodness, I completely lost track of time. By now, I expect the train will be nearing Yasolani. When it returns, we'll see you on your way. So if you've got any preparations to make, <laughs> you better make them quick. Not another one? You can't be serious. Natomikwe and the others! My home lies that way as well. Ugh. We're going to investigate! Right now!
heavens for Fent. You're here. Good, good. They came from the sky and attacked without any warning. The people need our help. to the palace. Quickly, before it's overrun. Thank you, Bakul Jaja. things now. you should still live. So Roger? By the gods, what has happened? 
happened to you? This is your butchery, isn't it? After everything you've done in service to the throne, how could you betray us? My demand is simple. The dissolution of Tuli Yolol and surrender of all its territories. Refuse, and I will kill every last one of you. Have you gone mad? No. My ambition remains unchanged. To teach the masses the folly of war, that they cry out for peace, and thus unite the world. What has changed you so much, and in so short a time? To harm the very people you swore to serve? <sighs> this is an unforgivable deed committed by my son. My son! to do this. No. His sins are mine to bear. Fear not. Osoralja is strong. He has never been father's equal in combat. I believe you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Despite his old age, the mighty Gulul Jaja remains a fearsome foe indeed. You retain the vitality of two souls, despite the passing of one.
I shall even the odds. Even the blessed are mortal. Father! Saracha! You are no match. So the once faint-hearted girl would live up to her title. Very well. If only to demonstrate the disparity between us, I give you a chance to prove yourself. Rally the entirety of your strength. Lay siege to my kingdom. Strike me down, like I did, father. Then, will you be his worthy successor? Zralcha, wait! My warships will remain in your skies. When you fail to prove your worth, I shall order them to lay waste to Tuli Yolal. Choose your next steps wisely.
I am beyond saving. Father, please. You can't give up. Are you there, a oh, friend? I'm right here. I'm right here. Look after my children. What? I'm an old fossil like you. I've only got so many years left. But if that's what you want, it would be an honor. You and I must go on another journey together someday. Hi, you can count on it. Yes, Papa. The graves of the Yokui. You saw them, yes? I always found their teachings comforting. <coughs> Please, Father, you must save your strength. Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we are never truly gone. Through you, my hopes survive. Through you, I live on. So do not mourn me. Walk tall, and see your nation to a brighter future.
steady now. I've brought you medicine. A drink. There you are, Lamati. I was beginning to... Look at me, Lamati. You need rest. You and him both. I will tend to this soul. But... my... people... I have to help them. The man's guard have matters well in hand. Trust in them. If there's another attack, your people will need you to protect them. They'll need you to be sharp. So please rest. Consider it your duty. Before them all, said that we'd build a nation where everyone knows happiness. So much for that promise. What good is a vow of resolve who cannot save her people? You'll stick with me. Thank you. My head's a little clearer now. I need to concentrate on what I can do, rather than what I can't. We've dealt with unfriendly factions before. From Yokui still longing for conquest, to adherents of blessed siblings, people who are unwilling to listen. Even so, I believe that by learning about one another and engaging in good faith, we could peacefully settle our differences. And we did. My brother is different. There will be no reasoning with him. He killed our people, our father. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his goal. What's more, he has power. The power to destroy the peace we've worked so hard to preserve. If I'm to protect that peace, then I must fight. I must confront Zorolja and kill him.
Thank you for coming, everyone. And thank you for taking charge in the relief effort. We would have fared far worse without you. Someone had to do it, that's all. Come, let's take stock. In terms of casualties, at least 50 died in the attack. And many times that number are wounded. All available healers are seen to their care. Structural damage at least is limited, so essential business can be conducted without issue. That said, the people are understandably shaken. We must assuage their fears, and begin working to restore things to normal as quickly as possible. Now, the most confounding mystery remains our enemy. And their mechanical soldiers created with technology that surpasses anything I've ever seen. What is their nature? And how did Zoralja manage to bring them under his command? Such things remain unknown. They emerged from the dome encasing Yasolani. We're quite certain of that much. Ah, uh, speaking of the dome, we have some theories, I'm told? Indeed. I would like to call upon some helpers to join the discussion. May I invite them here? By all means. It's me. Permission has been granted. You can come in. Greetings, everyone. Circumstances are quite dire. All is well in the Annex, never fear. I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. Following the changing of Dawn Servants, Gulul Jarja spoke about the Golden City to his two successors. Thanks to Wublamart, I was allowed to attend that meeting. What I heard led me to conclude that this was a matter for the students. Thus did I call upon our comrades who possess the requisite expertise. It was actually after that that the dome manifested. But, based on what we know, I have reason to believe that it is connected to the Golden City. While we're eager to help, we have limited familiarity with the situation. Might we trouble you to explain from the beginning? As you know, it was a letter I found tucked away in the Valdesian Annex that brought me to Tural. A letter from the Dawn Servant, addressed to my grandfather, sent some 20 years ago. The request to investigate the City of Gold? Indeed. The strange thing is, there was mention of neither Tural nor the City in our records. Hoping to learn the truth of my grandfather's mission, what he did and saw, I volunteered to help in the Rite of Succession. At the end of which, 
I was able to hear the tale from Galul Jar Jar. Like us, my grandfather went to the deepest chamber of the Sky Deep Cenote. And, like us, he saw the gate to the Golden City. Is that what you required our help with? This gate? It was. You see, the gate was opened once in the past. And... It led to another reflection. I can take the story from here. Considering my part in these affairs, I reckon maybe I'm best equipped to speak on the matter. I was there too, you see. In those ruins, together with Galuf and Galul Jaja, and what I saw that day, I'll never forget. years ago that the giants mined here. Their records make no mention of glowing stones. Hmm. high concentrations of ether, and on the surface are what appear to be arcane patterns. They aren't Alagam, or Mahi, or Nimim. If anything, they put me in mind of the calculations of the South Sea Islanders, but even then...
is this? Who are you? Though it never opened again, Galuf continued to study the gate for years after that, hoping to learn something of value. All he could conclude was that it was built with unknown technology, and that it led to another world, one apart from the Void. We'd assumed the ruins themselves were the Golden City, only to discover that the real prize actually lay beyond the gate, and beyond our reach. Couldn't make head nor tail of the artifact, either. As it had similar properties to the Black Stone in the ruins, we were convinced it was important. So Galul Jaja took it to the palace, for safekeeping. Galuf, meanwhile, took the baby with him back to Charlian, and raised her as his own. Then the child was... The earring inside the letter to my grandfather. It was apparently found amongst my swaddling clothes. If this is true, then it means that you hail from another reflection. So it would seem. I still struggle to take it all in myself. Looking back, Grandfather was always quick to seek distractions whenever I broached the subject. But never would I have guessed anything like this. But enough about me. We have more pressing matters. The forces that assailed Tuliolo. You suspect they are somehow connected to the Golden City? Thinking back on it, the soldiers look like they could have been made from the same black stone. And leading them was Zeralja. His involvement also lends weight to the theory. On the day of the succession ceremony, a bandit took me unawares and knocked me out. When I came to, I found my home turned upside down, with a few particular items missing. Namely the keystones I was entrusted with, for my role as Watcher of the Gate. The Bandit? You believe that it was... I only got a glimpse of him, but I... was a blue-scaled Hubigo. I know of no other. The artifact stored at the palace was also stolen. The thief struck during the ceremony, and the guard was spread thin. So our assumption is Zoranja somehow opened that gate to another reflection, where he acquired advanced technology and his mechanical armor. It fits. And if he did, then it's also likely that the dome is a product of this unknown reflection.
Hold on. We've been going on and on about the reflections, but what of my home? What's become of it? Indeed. Where it concerns other realities, I dare say the Scions are best suited to tackle the task. You can say that again. We've been to the literal edge of existence. Some mysterious giant dome shouldn't scare us. As you know, our order has ostensibly disbanded. We'd thank you to be discreet about our unofficial reunion. Huh. Worry not. We'll spare no effort to get to the bottom of this. And with our hero, eager to help, you can be confident of the results. I'm coming with you. If that's where my brother is, then that's where I must go. I can't say I understand everything you're discussing, but I know what I have to do. I have to put a stop to Zorosha and restore the people's happiness. Suffice it to say, I share Lamachi's desire to join you. However, under these circumstances, it would be unwise for both vows to be absent from the city. As such, I shall remain in Tuli Yolal. Come what may, I will protect our nation. So go forth, sister, and do what you must. Thank you. It may be prudent for us to likewise divide our forces. While one group ventures into the dome, the other keeps guard without. Agreed. There's something I wish to investigate out here, so I will remain. I as well. The enemy's warships still loom overhead, and I would see that we are prepared for the worst. I wish to go to the dome. As a student, I have an obligation to investigate this potential threat to the world. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not deathly curious about my origins. If there's aught to be learned, then I want to learn it. In that case, please let me come too. I have to see what's become of my home. I may not be a fighter, but I know those lands like the back of my hand. I can guide you. <laughs> if you hadn't offered, I would have asked. We're counting on you. I'm not one for waiting around, so if it's all the same to you, I'll join the dome crew. You should accompany them, Graha. I expect your knowledge and experience will be useful. In the meantime, I intend to learn what I can about the gate, and will keep you apprised of my findings. Pray do the same. Assuming communication is possible from inside the dome, we'll maintain contact and share any developments. It seems our teams are assembled. A fine roster, I think. Looks good to me. We'll find a way to deal with the threat. For the sake of Tural! It's truly heartening to have you at our side for this. Thank you, everyone. Now, before we set off, there's one thing I need to do. The people are still shaken by the attack, and I'd like to reassure them as best I can. <laughs> <laughs> 